welcome to another video here this is another mod showcase except this one is all about john deere's we're kind of near at least depending on when you're catching this video uh we're nearing our kind of entry back into farms m17 as we prepare this summer for the new fs19 so i was uh, digging around the other day and i was like i gotta find some stuff and i went through and i started looking through everything from stuff in steam workshop to anything outside of the Steam Workshop, and lo and behold, most of everything that I found was inside of the Steam Workshop. Go figure. Uh, most of the time, it usually is not. So, for all of you guys that love Steam Workshop and want to, you know, feature these things, then guess what? This will be this will be your your teal here. So, got a few things here to show you. As you can see, we have John Deere says all about John Deere today. So, if you love John Deere tractors, you love the green and yellow, you know nothing runs like a deer. Then this mod is for you mod showcase for you right well we actually cross that up with a beer motto but anyway so if you like the standard pete 39 you've got a skin for that as well you've got one for the flb which actually is on the steam workshop too and also one for the default 900 now these are the ones that i could find for right now now as for the standalone boxes i don't completely uh you know whether or not these things i'm not sure if these these are standalone long boxes my assumption is that they're still based off whatever running version that we're doing uh right now we're in 1.31 um, whether or not show you whether or not basically what I'm getting at is whether or not you'll see uh, the standard cable trailers with those. Uh, that'll be the one thing that I'm not necessarily sure of. The other nice addition here is the John Deere Large Garage. Now I'm going to also go through priority of these mods. This is where you need to based on our other video, which. I'm going to put up a little card here that scrolls across your screen right now. And that's going to, if you need more help with how to prioritize the mods and how to get into things and how to see different stuff, how to get different things to show up. If you're having problems looking at troubleshooting of those mods, check that video out, come back, check this one back out, and hopefully it will make a little more sense. As you can see here, my mod list is quite long, quite extensive. Uh, we've got a lot in there. Uh, and this is pretty much stuff that stays in here 24 7. most of the time my truck skins everything stays in on my dashboards and stuff unless i'm changing colors and then my trailers are about the only things that really uh really kind of you know mess out so i always put my garage right after the map uh some people have different you know they, they don't do that they do I'm just telling you what i do then you guys can go check these out i will tell you though doing it the way that i tell you to do it I know that it works because it works and you'll actually see it in game. So the John Deere large garage, I put that after. Now you only get the John Deere garage when your garage is a large garage. You have to upgrade it. Then once you upgrade it, it turns into uh, the John Deere garage. So you can have it there. The other two things are going to be your skins. Now I don't normally do the, the default Pete. I'm not a big fan of this one too. It's like really old school green and yellow so it's almost kind of like a faded watermelon kind of green it's kind of weird uh, that's not in there but so after that you'll have the trucks so we're just coming on up the list here we got trucks and then i have all of the skins so that all those skins show up on all the trucks and i'll have a bunch of stuff mixed in so you'll find both of those there the john deere and the kenworth john deere together uh, and then we can move on to the trailers now the trailers themselves will be all together now these are always whether or not you put these things where you put these things and how you put those things in the you know inside of ats can differ uh, i'll just show you what i do with mine i'll do skins and then i'll do the interior packs of those skins whether you're talking interior reworks here cabin accessories wheels and uh, then we can move on the dashboards any kind of other kind of special stuff that's on top of those uh, as you can see, we've got quite a few dashboard files here, and we've got SES Extra Truck Parts, which is for your 389 Kenworths, your standard uh, SES trucks. And then we can move right on up, and you'll see our trailers. So typically what I'll do uh, is I'll put the real company logos in there, and then I'll add my trailer skins on top of that, and then I'll add sounds and yada, yada, yada. The list goes on and on and on. Uh, but right now we've got the standalone long box. We've got the John Deere box here and also the agriculture mod pack. Now this agriculture mod pack uh, is something, let me, let me just go ahead and um, actually, let me go ahead. Can I do farm? Yes. We also have a farm sim 17 standalone long box as well. That has this really nice picture of farm sim 17 uh, on the side of it. it. looks really cool. It looks like the guys like cultivating a, a field of fire. It's pretty, pretty slick. So we've got that in there as well. Uh, and the agriculture mod pack is one that you do have to get outside of steam. It is not on the steam workshop, but what it does is it couples and puts like the legal low loader, low boy puts all of the normal farm sim loads on trailers so that whether you're not talking the you know like the the new holland harvesters where they're talking slurry uh trailers the big crampy red trailers have the triaxle drives and the steerable wheels and the axe and, and axles in the back all of that stuff 
it's all kind of uh, wrapped and baked back in behind. So this whole entire mod uh, basically is all of the farm sim trailers, different loads that you could take. So it's really a cool one. And it's also an ETS version and an ATS version. As you can see, uh, they are differentiated. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and confirm change here. Well, let's continue the game. We'll go inside the game. We'll look a little bit inside the FLB. Uh, kind of wanted to run through that first. We'll run inside the FLB. We'll look at a few different cool options you can do with the Freightliner FLB if you like cab overs and especially the John Deere. And then we can move on. We'll take a we'll take a couple of uh, looks there at the garage. Look inside the garage. You guys see that, and we'll call it a video. So it'll be cool. So I guess while we're waiting this, uh, don't forget you guys like, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos. I mean, I seem to work pretty good. Guys seem to, you know, I, hopefully my main thing is that they're somewhat informational, that you guys are getting some info out of them and you're learning a little bit more about how to mod the game, how to enjoy the game outside of when, you know, basically the game stops being enjoyable when it's on the default side. I find that when I got into mods, it was just like, you know, whoa, it's just, it was great. So, um, let's uh let's go ahead and i believe we're gonna have to drive and then i think we should be right at the should be at the um what you call it service station should be there we'll let it load back in here <laughs> there we go Oh, and the lights and everything are blared. So we've still got quite a bit on here. Uh, oh, by the way, you'll be able to find all the links. I will uh, link uh, at least a Steam community link some of these things down there, uh, especially the ones that that I don't uh, don't put in this. So let's look at the upgrade shop. Now this is a skin altogether, so uh, you can kind of see beige cream. This is what we'd have before. Uh, we do have a cat one on here, which is really nice. I like the cat FLB. Um, and then, but pretty much there's just these uh, kind of old school ones. Now these old school one paint jobs are kind of like the old, uh, the Aussie style, uh, truck jobs, but going John Deere. It would be nice if I had a big John Deere up here on the, uh, on the roof. Now they do have, looks to be like a six or a seven series. I can't make it out cause I never get close enough, but it looks to be like a six or a seven series, uh, in EU version there, uh, on the side, which is pretty slick. Got the logos of course. Um, and the green and now I have no idea whether or not this thing actually exists in real life So if it doesn't it's fine. It's just a John Deere skin they even got the uh, North Carolina plate and also my world of trucks plate on the front, which is pretty slick So let's look at a couple of uh, a couple of accessories here that are pretty neat that you might want to think about once you're doing your own truck uh, We can move to the inside of the truck here now. This is the inside of this truck, which I absolutely love this one um, I don't know it's for whatever reason. It's just got this really old-school feel to it. So we got a couple of things that you can um, actually let's come out to the outside that you can notice. We have got interior lights on this one. Mm, I'll let them pull up here. Which one are they? I think there they are. So you can do interior green lights if you want to. So they will come on with the headlights, um, which kind of cast this weary, eerily kind of um, kind of I don't know. They they put this weird kind of green esque light there on the bottom, which is kind of neat. Uh, so we've got that on there. Uh, what else we got? We got all different kind of colors on there. But once you go to the inside, this is kind of where this mod gets a little bit cool because not all, uh, you know, not all trucks do this. Uh, you can do a couple different things. You can change the backlights to all of these gauges. Now I do have a panel mod on there um, that come with it, but it basically changes the gauges, which is what you're seeing here. So it's going to add the ability for me to change these gauge uh, profiles in there. Um, with the FLB, but if you type in FLB on Steam Workshop, then all the mods for this one will come up, and you'll see there's two different versions of this one. Uh, it's literally like FLB, FLB gauges. One's clear, then one's got the colors. It's simple. Uh, so you decide what you want. I'm going to do yellow since we might have a green interior light. So we'll make that there. And then you can also do panels. So you can do a wood panel. If you like this, you can do a metal panel. But the cool thing is, is that you can do truck skin panels with this. So we can actually do this and it actually puts the yellow that's on the truck skin. Now you may not like that. You may be like, Meh, that's kind of a nasty color yellow. But I love it because um, it's the same color as the truck. Now he's got a cool things too. They add in the nice outside of this realm to the uh to the cb up there which absolutely looks brand new um so we can get out of this one whoops nope, 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 nope. we'll go back out here now everything else out here is kind of what you would expect now they do add the freightliner uh deals here so you can do the truck paint which you can do the john deere skin or you can also do badge chromes or badge colors which will add the base color of your truck skin uh, so which I think is really, really, really cool. So we've got the John Deere mud flaps is why I kind of want to save those in. And I think you can even do paint on these. Yeah. 
So whether or not you want to completely go all out on that, it's totally up to you. Doesn't really matter. Uh, everything else is just as you would expect. So everything that's got this paint, it's got the same color of paint with every single thing that you want to put on here. So uh, you can make this look as gaudy as you absolutely want to. So we've got a couple of things in here as well. Uh, just because you've got the exhaust pipes in here, you can have all of these supports as well as your stands before uh, stands for the airlines. Uh, so if you want custom to, if you want these painted, you want to add lights on these things. So I mean, like the FLB got a huge update here when it went into 1.31. Uh, so you still have custom stuff on this thing. You're going to have chromes. And obviously you've seen that you can have the painted ones. Uh, so depending on whatever it is that you want, you can add your own lights to the background. Uh, have some fun with that. It doesn't really matter. And then you've got your same exhaust pipe you had before. Um, so anything else that you want. Now, uh, one thing that I'll put in here, if you have not seen my videos before, you've not seen how the uh, LED bright tax uh, LED system works. They have a couple different versions, as you can see. Um, I've got these set on like a rotate, so they're just flashing back and forth like a Knight Rider. Then you've got your upper LED beacon uh, here that's just kind of alternating back and forth in a couple different flash patterns. And you've got these right here that are, but they are they are actually going within sync to the other side. So da da da. So this one will be doing it in opposite fashion. So you have right, right. I mean right, left, right, left, and they do it in alternating succession. Um, now the other thing too that I, I got in was uh, the GTM flags. Now these kind of show on from the rest of the flags, but they were put in to the SISL pack. So if you do not have the cabin add-on pack, go grab this, the Steam Workshop. They add a slew of new little flags and stuff in here. So whether or not you want to fly an SES logo flag on here, World of Trucks flag, you know, it's literally anything. Of course, you got to have turkey. I don't know how we got flag of turkey, but Jolly Roger Pirate, uh, EU here, the GTM team, and then the good old US of A flag. You do have some options for customizable flags as well. So I'm kind of looking forward to getting me a couple flags here with FTG logos on them as well. And that way you guys uh, will be able to have a, uh, a custom flag customizable there with FTG logo here uh, soon enough. So anyway, so that's pretty much it on this. Um, I don't really have too much else. You can change these up and do chrome straps or painted straps. Uh, that are green and then we could change this and put this back over to chrome you could change that I actually might do that we'll change these back to chrome not aluminum but chrome there we go so i'll change those back that kind of look kind of those look a little bit better um and then i guess it's up to you as to whatever else you want to do uh, there's our paint chrome yeah so once you get into this you can see how much you can go so you can have this black and yellow whatever your fancy is on the custom bumper stuff um uh, you know we might even be able to leave that on there just because but we'll we'll look at that at a different day it's not a big deal um so we'll go ahead and leave the shop here It'll give you some ideas of some design stuff you can do with the flb now especially when you put a, a slick skin on it so let's go ahead let's uh i'm just going to jetty on over here to our garage as you can see it's standing out like crazy over here so there she is. So our John Deere garage uh, is pretty slick. Now you can even see that we've even got one of the John Deere trailers is actually inside of here. Uh, it's a little bit off just because it's kind of like a, a, an outside long box and it's a model that's been pulled into this. Uh, but definitely, 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 this is really, really, really cool. Go ahead and move this away here so you guys can see it. So this all works just like the regular garages. It's just a good skin for it. So if you like John Deere, if you want to you know, run in to do these things, uh, here it is. It's all here. I'll provide these links in here. And I guess just uh, just as we're doing, I just want to make sure and check. Uh, we'll get these trailers up as well. Uh, sometimes it may take you a couple times to see there's one already. There's the farm sim trailer there coming from Walmart. There's the parts coming in from Walmart. So let's go check out. Let's see what, uh, let's go and see what this one looks like. We'll set that as our, uh, our uh, destination. We'll pull our map up here. Whoops, not too far. And I'm just going to spin around here and let's let's uh, let's jetty back here. Let's go take a look at this trailer because a lot of these skins I don't ever see anybody roll them, um, so it's kind of nice when you see them. So there it is. So there's the long box mod. Oh, it's even got the nine RTs on there. It's got that same one on the front there, John Deere on the side. Long box modes here, and then the Farm Sim 17 there, which is the CGI trailer. You know, everyone went crazy over that one when it first rolled out of the gate. And it looks like you've got a Kloss, which is funny because Farm Sim never brought in Kloss as a brand. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, kind of, kind of comical. Uh, and then we've got the uh, looks like the Kloss 900, uh, maybe Axiom there. It's definitely EU tractor. It's pulling a, a cultivator. It looks like the, the field is on fire behind that. And also, both of these trailers also are in. Um, they are also in 
uh, traffic as well. So you'll be passing these trailers all the time with this. So definitely a cool little look. So this may be something here that we feature in the live stream. Uh, we'll roll out some John Deere trailers and trackers and whatnot uh, for these with our agriculture back. Do some loads around here. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we'll look at these, uh, especially in our next live stream. and we'll, uh, But this is more of an in-depth view of how to get them all working, how to get everything rocking and rolling. I hope you guys enjoy this. hope you enjoy uh, a little bit of John Deere flavor here on ETS. So anyway, that's it. don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you here all in the next Mod Showcase video. If you got guys, if you have ideas that you'd like for me to uh, look at the different mods and say, hey, I'm out. What about these? I love these. Could you do something with these? Can you find enough that would make this uh, an episode of a video or something like that? Uh, or, hey, I've had trouble with these. Can you do a video on these? I can't seem to get these working. They seem to be a trick. I'll certainly look at them. I'll certainly take a look and see what's going on. Uh, but other than that, man, just shoot anything you got. Give me some ideas here of things you guys and viewers want to see here in the next video here with ATS. Uh, like this one, John Deere came to me from another member. So, uh, here we are. We got a video on it. We got it all in. We got priority and everything set. So, if you guys got need help uh, on other things, you can see some videos on that as well. There's some options and that way I can be a better help to you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. John Deere and ATS. I hope you join us here on the next video. We'll see you guys. Again.